Hello everyone, my name is Jasoni and in this video I am going to review the Lenovo K3 Note. So in the box you will get the phone, a free screen protector, USB charger, charging and data cable, a 2900 mAh battery, documentation in various languages and a free Airtel 4G blank SIM. What blank SIM mean is that uh, it will only activate if you already have an Airtel connection or Airtel SIM. Otherwise you have to call the customer care service and get a new number for this blank SIM. This phone is really slim and lightweight. It weighs 150 grams and uh, is only 8 millimeters thick. On the left hand side there is nothing on the phone. On the right hand side there is your power button and volume button. On the top there is your micro USB port and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. At the bottom your mic and nothing else. Two micro SIM slots, micro SD card slot, 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and the speaker. In the front it has three touch capacitive buttons that don't glow in the dark as if they don't have a backlight LED. A 5.5 inch full HD resolution IPS LCD display and a 5 megapixel front camera. The screen of this phone is a uh, full HD resolution and it's quite good in terms of uh, viewing angles and quality both. Now the 13 megapixel camera of this phone is not that great as you can expect because of its price. Here's a photo taken with the phone's camera and it's not that good and uh, in bad light conditions it performs even worse. It's not focusing in the video at all for some reason. But you can take photos while shooting videos. Here's the 5 megapixel camera which is also not that great and it comes with this slider to increase the brightness and softness of the photo as you can see to increase the quality of your selfie or in other words make it look as fake as possible. You can turn the feature off if you want. Here's the quality and it's nothing that great. It didn't even pick up that much light. Here are the front camera options. It supports up to full HD recording from the front camera. And here are our full back camera settings. Video settings. Other settings and some effects and uh, filters the OS is Android version 5.0 lollipop but the UI is Lenovo Vibe UI which looks and feels like uh, Xiaomi Mi UI and it has got all these features or settings in the display you can select display color balance according to your liking and it does have LED notification light as you can see it also comes with this power manager to save battery SIM management tool some exclusive features now in the storage it comes with the option of uh, default write disk which has been absent from some phones lately. You can select phone storage or SD card whichever you prefer in this and out of uh, total 16 GB I have got 3.52 GB free currently but uh, new phone comes with around 10 GB free out of 16 GB and it does not support uh, move to HD as you can see there's no option here well it also supports USB OTG as you can see for music it comes with default Google Play music so the speaker of this phone is fairly loud and it also comes with its own uh, equalizer or you can use this Dolby Atmos equalizer or the whole app if you want 
and it does a pretty great job at enhancing the music experience especially in headphones well it does not support a 4k resolution video as all the phones with mediatek 6752 chipset but it does support a full hd resolution video browser performance of this phone is also very good as as, as you can expect from this chipset and 2gb of ram as you can see the images are rendering and loading pretty fast in browser video also working without any problem hello people my name is jason here's the pinch to zoom and it's is also working without any issues because of its 2gb of ram you will not have any problems opening a lot of tabs on this phone and regarding the ram well as you can see currently it has 630 mb free out of 2gb ram which you can clear out like this so here's the Antutu benchmark result of Lenovo K3 Note and it didn't even get that hot as you can see the temperature is still under 40 degrees celsius which is very good Well, that's obviously what will happen if you try to play the game at this much lag. Even the input lag is a lot to control the car properly. So, this chipset is usually very good for gaming but uh, not at full HD resolution. Especially with all the graphics effects that you are seeing on the screen right now. Now the company is promising around 36 hours of talk time on this phone on 3G network and uh, that's not going to happen in any scenario. All in all the battery life of this phone is decent and if you manage it properly you could get around uh, a day on continuous use on this phone. Although its camera quality is not that great but it's still a pretty powerful phone. So. Yeah, I can recommend it for 10,000 rupees. Just don't expect much quality at this price range and you will be fine. So that's it for this review of Lenovo K3 Note and I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please like and subscribe to my channel Atomatic and thanks for watching.